We all love golf, but at the same time understand the frustrations that come with the game. Today, Italian Matteo Manassero tells us what keeps his love of the game alive. First of all, uh, it's something I've done for all my life and I never got tired of it. Uh, it's, uh, it's obviously so much so personal. Um, you go through uh, a lot of emotion inside of yourself and uh, you, know, you don't get to share it with, with many other people. So it's, uh, it's something very, very deep inside. You know, and uh, it always is, always going to be. Uh, we play some team events, but mainly it's just ourselves in the golf course and uh, all the achievements, all the down moments. It's uh, you, you have to reflect on them and it's, it's great because of that and the satisfaction that gave me uh, in these years has been, uh, been you know, one of the best things of my life. So I guess that's, uh, that's the reason why. My father started playing when I was born. Um, but you know it wasn't really a family thing. Uh, I started to watch some tapes at home with him, and uh, I wanted to I wanted to to play. I just did, I wanted my parents to bring me to the golf course, and I started like that, and started by playing with him, and then by myself, you know, and didn't stop. Growing up, you've got times in which things they don't go well, and uh, it's not easy to react in a proper way, in, in the right way. And obviously, the easiest thing is to kind of fall out of love uh, for for golf. But as soon as a spark gets, uh, you feel another spark. If you, you do something good, the the love comes back again, and it's it's all normal. But yes, it's just a process. Everybody else has gone through it. <laughs> 